Okay, so Alderson Broadus University in West Virginia. Alderson Broadus. It's not. A, go, go. Tell a, me. I want to know about it. It's a small school. Uh, we're located about an hour south of WVU. We're in Philippi, West Virginia, which is uh, the historic. It's historic because it was the place where the first land battle of the Civil War was fought. Uh, we're. Uh, I actually knew that. There you go. <laughs> I'm a history teacher. Well, that's good to know. Not everybody knows that. Yeah. So, um, so, so you guys are are it's it's in the mountains. We're okay? on top of a mountain. Yes. You're on top of a mountain. Um, you know, I look at West Virginia, one of the most beautiful states, obviously. You know, John Denver sang about it, right? They did. We 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 every time we come back over the border, we put uh, put that song. Country on roads. Yep. Okay, looking at it, you guys are an NCAA Division II, mm -hmm. which I don't know if people know about wrestling. I, in my opinion, I think that's the future of college wrestling. Um, it's growing at the small schools. It's, uh, you know, we're an enrollment-driven school, and the schools that are adding wrestling are all enrollment-driven schools. They need to put uh, kids in classes, so that's where it's growing. So, you know, like I'm from like Tiffin's 20 minutes from my hometown, right? Okay. So they, they've added since, you know, I left Northwest Ohio. Obviously, Notre Dame College. I told you, I, I drive by that all the time, right? They're the best team in the country. They're fantastic. And, you know, they, they get 70 guys on the roster. Yeah. They get 70 guys on the roster. You know, you guys, obviously, it's, if it's enrollment drumming, you got to put guys in beds. That's kind of the big thing. And then, like, you know, I've even talked to, like, Heidelberg. Heidelberg's enrollment driven. They're Division Three, but you got to put guys on the team. D does that present challenges to you, bringing guys to, you know, kind of rural West Virginia? Is that hard to do? It's uh, not an easy job, but I... I love it. I have guys from 12 different states on my team. I got guys from Alaska, Kansas, Washington State. I get them from all over, Arizona, uh, Florida. I mean, I have kids from all over. Uh, so it's, it presents its own challenge, but if you're looking for a small school, small classes, uh, personal attention, uh, we're an outstanding place for that. We have a, a fantastic uh, program in the uh, medical sciences. We have our own cadaver lab. Most schools with 1,100 kids don't have their own uh, place where you can carve up dead bodies uh, you know we're out in the mountains uh, we have deer and turkey uh, all on campus uh, my guys go hunting uh, when they can they go we have a place you can go fishing right around the corner uh, it's just a beautiful area it really is going into medicine you know obviously whenever you're working on a cadaver you know when you have to explore a human you're, you're gonna go into medicine right so you guys got probably pretty good medicine program or pre-med if you will we have a, a nursing program on campus we have a uh, physician's assistant program, which in a lot of rural states, it's hard to get doctors to move there. So the PA program is an important one. We have uh, we're beginning an optometry program. Our pre-med program, top of the line. I had a couple guys graduate, head off to med school last year. Another guy uh, graduated, and he's going to uh, uh, pharmacy school next year. So it's a uh, it's a good place for for that sort of stuff. Okay, what are you guys looking for here, recruiting wise? You're in Jersey. You know, um, what are you looking for? Uh, you know, you've been here the whole time, man. I've seen you the whole time. I've seen that beautiful man mane of hair. Well, I do have the best hair in You got great. I, I got to be honest. I don't know, you and Frank Romano, when he puts the gel in, he's got pretty good hair for an old dude. But that that is a beautiful man mane. There's no question. But what are you looking for as far as recruits in there? I'm looking for guys who are just willing to get after it a little bit and, and love wrestling. I mean, to wrestle at the Division II level, uh, you're not getting a ton of a ton of money, a ton of fame, a ton of notoriety. You're going out there because you like to compete. You want to wrestle. You want to. You want to continue your your career. Uh, so I don't care how good you are. I mean, I'll I'll take you if you're real good. But if you're uh, if you just love wrestling, then you you have a home with us if you want it. Okay. When a kid comes here and they're they're kind of you know it's hard. They're sore. They're aching. They just ran this morning. What do you want to see out of them as far as a guy that you're going to be recruiting and want at Elvis and Brothers? Are you willing to to pick up on the technique that's being put out there. A lot of kids have their own way of doing things already, and a coach comes in and shows them a slightly different way. You know, are they doing what the coach says and trying to learn, or are they just reverting right back to what they normally do? I want to see a kid who, who's at least going to try and, and learn and try and see if it works out for him. And then if it doesn't, okay, that's fine. But I want to see a kid at least putting in the effort that he's going to learn what's being taught. Coach Cooperman's about the role. I'm sure that'll be a, a hoot and very entertaining. You got anything else for me? I'm here, and uh, I'm enjoying it, and uh, thanks for taking some time out to talk to me.